this here is called the Seattle Basin. Think of it as a big bathtub, but instead of filled with water, it's filled with sediment. This feature can amplify an earthquake. The waves can make the energy waves stronger. One way to understand that behavior is to put a lot of sensors in homes all around this region. At her parents' home on Mercer Island, Tessa Check is installing a sensor which picks up vibrations in the ground. The WSU Earth Sciences student is an intern at the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. She's helping put this equipment in homes throughout Puget Sound, part of an effort to better understand an earthquake's impacts. We need multiple locations in order to get that 3D image that we're looking for. UW is seeking other volunteers willing to host this equipment in their basement or garage for a month or so. It takes about an hour to install and just needs a concrete floor to sit on. Normally in an urban environment is a terrible place to put a seismic instrument because you want it to be seismically quiet. However, the technique we're using relies on background seismic noise, which is wind against buildings, trees, trains, traffic, and uh, it works uh, extraordinarily well. Those readings coming in from multiple locations help scientists learn more about the behavior of different soils and how buildings will react to shaking. The Seattle Basin, the focus of this study, can amplify earthquakes with potentially devastating effects. It's also like uh, a bathtub where you throw a rock in there, the waves go out and bounce off the edges so the duration can be much longer as well. Once we start hitting record, um, then it's gonna pick up everything in the area. Within minutes, check is already getting readings. This is how sensitive it is. Those jagged lines wow. right there. Check's mom remembers what it was like to ride out the 2001 Nisqually quake in this same house. Tessa was a baby <laughs> and my son was home and uh, we just, you know, felt the everything role, I think, and um, then not knowing really what to do. This is one way to get ahead of the next one. The more we can understand it, the more we can prepare for it and be ready for when it does happen. So at this point, they've put sensors on Mercer Island, down near SeaTac, Vashon Island, and then Bainbridge Island, so they can focus on this whole area right here and get a better sense of what's going on. The next phase will focus down on the Tacoma region, and they say they're especially interested in finding volunteers who live near the Hood Canal. They need people down there to help them out. So for more information on how to participate in this text earthquake to 206-448-4545, and we'll connect you with the info.